a long time ago, I used to just go through my days and it would be like, I have to get through it. I have to take myself from point A to point B, point C to point D, <clears throat> with no real flow, and flow in my life. And just taking things for granted, not saying thank you and just kind of just slumming along with things and never really getting anywhere. Always expecting myself to get somewhere eventually and things will turn out eventually. Not enjoying the process of working towards those things or even being thankful for them. It was until up until my father gave me this gratitude book when he said that I should have this in my life. Gratitude. That I should be more grateful for the things around me. See, I grew up poor. I grew up in a almost a poverty state. And I guess growing up, I never really valued what I had. It was more I always wanted more. I always thought I needed more. I always thought I needed to be better. And that grew on me. And I always, I just became this, this gloomy person. But when I started to practice this gratitude journaling, writing down a few things every day, not every day, I was not perfect. I would go months at a time without writing in this journal. But when I did, I found that it gave me a sense of relief, a sense of, wow, freedom in a sense from my struggles, from my <clears throat> life that I wasn't so happy with. Practicing my gratitude journaling, being able to appreciate even a small thing, like my blanket on my bed, writing that down. It helped me in certain ways in my life where even at the store, I'd be like, oh, thank you. And then I'd write down, oh, I'm thankful for this conversation I had with the store clerk employee that went well, blah, blah, blah. Instead of, yeah, that was, yeah, it was fun talking to them or just kind of dismissing it. But giving it the appreciation it deserved. Today, there was this man who came in. He brought us a snowplow for the winter. And he ran us through the machine and the equipment. And it was just almost instinctual for me to say, thank you for showing me and us how to use this machine. Showing us the steps and everything. And he looked at me. And he had a smile. He hadn't smiled the whole time. But when I said thank you for showing us how to do it, he smiled, and I think it made his day a little bit better. And for that, I'm happy I started my gratitude journaling, because not only has it had a compound effect on me, and when I go around my day being thankful for the little things, thankful for my water bottle, thankful that I get to be here in this beautiful workshop that I'm in, it has also a compound effect on others. Not only do I get to have this abundance of thanks, of gratefulness, of joy, of appreciation for the things around me. But it cuts out the bad. It cuts out the bad things that I would normally just be doing, just avoiding, not grateful, ungrateful, taking things for granted. Being able to put a smile on that man's face today made me feel excellent. I did that, why? Because I am grateful, because I practice gratitude, because I was able to express my gratitude towards him. It's just something I value and something that I don't want to live without anymore. Being grateful for something like food, saying thank you, it makes the other person feel valued, cherished, like they're worth it, like they've done something good. You add value to the world. You add a little bit of your own self into the world. And it may be weird fucking things you're thankful for, like, I guess that example of him showing me how to use the machine. That's weird, right? You don't normally say thanks, I guess. But I didn't need to. But I did. I just wanted to. I find that gratitude is a big part of who I am nowadays. One of the very few life lessons my father taught me was be grateful for things. Even if you don't have much, you can always find something to be grateful for. There's always going to be a silver lining. And I find gratitude to always be that silver lining. Yeah, if it weren't for gratitude, I think I would be in a very negative headspace all the time. Gloomy, doomy, ashamed, and just walking around with no 
purpose or drive because everything is just happening and taking everything for granted. Everything is happening and coming and going and yeah, this pleases me, that pleases me, but eh, whatever, some of it's bad. But with gratitude in my life, I found that I can even appreciate the bad things, like my family. I've had disputes with my family. They're all fucking crazy. Not all of them, but a lot of them are crazy. And today, I had this t text exchange with one of them, and they're just so fucking full of themselves with a stick up their ass, and I'm like, you know what? I'm grateful I'm not like them. <laughs> Even just that, yeah, okay, they can live their life. I'm grateful I'm this way. I myself, I can appreciate that, you know what? I can make light heart of the situation, not take it too seriously, and not have it affect me in such a negative way, like it did them. For whatever reason, oh well, I'm grateful that I can handle the situation splendidly. If I didn't have gratitude in my life, I think this is how it would look like. I think I would be still thinking and ruminating about this, and how they think they're better than themselves. I would just think negatively of them. But the negativity with my gratitude is nothing. It's like, yeah, no, I'm grateful. I'm grateful that uh, I'm this way. I'm grateful that I can handle the situation with a mature, lighthearted, fun, life-giving experience versus their hard, cruel, taking things for granted with no gratitude, with no appreciation or understanding for the other person. And I can just be grateful. I can be grateful that I'm able to bring myself to this happy place, not be in the negative headspace and live my own life. I mean, gratitude helps in so many different ways. It's helped build and foster relationships that I've wanted. Being thankful for my girlfriend, being thankful for my mother, being thankful for the food on my plate, being thankful I have a brother I can talk to. Even though I'm not close with him, I'm thankful he's around. I'm thankful that I can build on the relationship that we have. I'm thankful for so many things. And all because I started practicing gratitude journaling, writing down a few things before I go to sleep and when I wake up. I'd write down whatever came to my mind. I'm thankful for the food I ate last night. I'm thankful for the smell of coffee. I'm thankful for the snow fall. I'm grateful for rainy days. I'm grateful for being able to be grateful. I started small, and it may seem at first so meaningless and pointless. And what's the point of being grateful? Like, my life seems so, ugh, things just happen to me. But it's when you, when you put in the effort and you allow yourself to feel the gratitude. It gives you a sense of power over how you want to feel. And it doesn't let other people dictate how you feel. Instead, you can have this sense of gratitude, this purpose, this power and control. It allows you to harness what's good in your life and see it for what it is. Something good, not something bad, not something that just is there and exists, but something that serves you in a good way. Gratitude. It is one of the most important things in my life. Being grateful, giving thanks. And I'm grateful that I practice this. I'm not consistent by any means. There are days where I don't even write down anything I'm grateful for. But I'll still reach over to the notebook. I'll still write down a few things once in a while that I'm grateful for. And just keeping that practice in my life helps immensely. Really does. Because I can read back on it and be like, yeah, you know what? I'm, I am really grateful for those things. You know, I was, I was then, a year ago, grateful for random shit. I could look back and, yeah. I'm still grateful. I still feel good about those things. Anyways, this is my rant about gratitude. I want to get into recording. So we are just talking. All right. This has been Anthony. This has been about gratitude. Maybe I'll cover this again one other time when I have more clarity on these things. But I'm just trying to get into the flow state of recording again. Just record, record, record. doesn't matter what it is. Put myself out there. Be grateful you do it. And yeah, don't expect anything in return. Yeah, because I'm just doing this because I want to be a YouTuber. 
Okay, cool. Cool beans. Awesome. Bye. <laughs> it's been anthem.